Okay, so I had this little bit of a game theory over here before the video starts. So remember how Rayman was frozen in ice in the battlefield of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate? Well, here's the thing. Um, after Sora was released for Ultimate and Smash Ultimate was officially over, Ubisoft decided to, un to melt the ice that he was frozen from from the battlefield stage and, and decided to made a deal with Rayman to make to appear in the Mario Rabbits DLC and then they will promise to make a bet to make a new Rayman game after this which I can assume is what's going to happen for the future of Ubisoft content aside from just Just Dance games and Assassin's Creed series so anyways that's just my theory a game theory uh, do not count as like, copyright YouTube because I do not own it hey guys this is Josh the Thomas fan Just Dance Super Smash Brothers here and we're back with another one. And this one is going to be on the new upcoming Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope DLC. Because apparently, I know many of you guys are probably watching. And there's already YouTube videos of the gameplay of Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope already out at this point. But this is going to be like something for you guys. This is my like personal appearance. This is for DLC characters for Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope. Because I know it's coming out tomorrow. And we already know that Rayman is going to be a playable character in his own DLC adventure, which is really awesome. I wish I was able to see it from there, but... Honestly, it's going to be cool. Even though we, back in like the Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, there was Donkey Kong Adventure. And there's also, of course, the new pre-order weapons as well, f that if when you purchase the game, the Megabug Collection. And despite Rayman is going to have his own weapon and spark or so... It's probably going to no what coincidence. I think there's going to be other DLC characters other than Rayman. Because according to here, from the main base game roster, we have a total of nine characters. And that being Mario, Luigi, and Peach with their along with their rabbit clones. And some new characters like Rabbit Rosalina, Bowser, and Edge. And note, this video may contain spoilers. So to those who don't want to hear any footage of the game or something or something else, stop watching the video right away before we begin some like ideas for DLC characters. And that being now each character that is being mentioned, since Rayman is going to be an official character, I believe there's going to be eight more characters joining this roster for DLC because I feel like there's many characters from the first Mario Rabbids game to, should appear as playable characters. This is just my personal appearance and I think they should make their appearance and they and since each of them will have one weapon at a time and it won't be pretty much long. Aside from like WoW well, Kingdom Battle made two different weapon packs for both their regulars and their secondaries, lean the primary secondaries each with the different genre of a style of a of a weapon set. But this one is there in Sparks of Hope is just going to focus on just one weapon. So that's pretty much how each character will function in the new version. And, mo and movement is free. And one of the characters that I want to see in Sparks of Hope DLC characters is Daisy and her rabbit clone, Rabbit Daisy. Because, you know, we have Rabbit Peach and we have Rosalina, particularly Rabbit Rosalina. Since it was no coincidence that Rosalina herself is only appears in the moot in the story as we get a good backstory and she appears as a little bit of an NPC at the very end of the game. So, but again, spoilers to anyone who's watching this, stop watching now. We could really use another third princess like Daisy and her rabbit clone. The moveset will still be same momentum, it's just it will. It, she will have the ground pound of Bowser and the floaty jump as Peach. So, it, in terms of team jump and, well, flowing back and her movement will extend. As for her weapon she uses, she'll probably use the weapons, like, either using... She could use, like, of course, either, like, have, like, Daisy, like Peach's Boombrella or maybe have the fist punches boxing gloves from Rabbit Mario. That they could like fuse them together to make something very interesting. As for Rabbit Daisy, they could share. She, she could have a similarity to um, Rabbit Peach's weapon, which shoots three rockets, but it would be much more superior. I think the personality for uh, Rabbit Daisy would be very different to Rabbit Peach. Now we know how like for Peach and Daisy's perspective is that Peach is kind and loyalty. And Daisy is very energetic and very hyper. 
But as for the rabid perspectives, rabid peach tends to be look like your average teenage girl, you know, and in terms of the personality. And for rabid daisy, it will kind of share the similarity because I think it, it will instead will be kind of loyalty in some ways and while still putting up a smile in some way. The next two characters is a quadruple set and that's having both the rabid, both Wario, Waluigi and their rabid counterparts. Since it was, since I think it was very awesome for Ubisoft adding Rabbit Wario and Rabbit Waluigi, or they should say, quote unquote, Wario and Waluigi. It would be cool to see actually Wario and Waluigi as actual playable characters. If, if, if they were enemies in the first game, then they're likely to be playable characters in the sequel for DLC characters. And of course, Wario and Waluigi, they will. They will have the same similar, their weapons would kind of be similar to what they'd shared similar in Kingdom Battle, but be very different. They could each share like the same weapon mechanics from their first game, and but they will even have their own. As for Wario and Waluigi, they could, they could each share a weapon from Kingdom Battle. A Wario can have like a gold blaster, while Waluigi could have like a sort of rapid gun and... And same thing for Wario. And while well, Waluigi will just have a massive hammer. Bowser Jr. is another character. Because if Bowser is in Sparks of Hope. Then they have to add Bowser Jr. as a playable character. He could use the weapon that Bowser uses. But it's smaller. So that it that way it could rep represent like the father and son relationship with Bowser. Another one is having the return of Yoshi and, and Rabbit Yoshi returning. But each having different new weapons. Because I think they would have a totally different new weapon to share in Sparks of Hope than they did in Kingdom Battle. Because in Kingdom Battle, Rabbit Yoshi had Grenade Duck and a sort of Rapid Gun. and Or a little mini shooter or whatever. And the same thing for Yoshi. He had the same Rapid Shooter, but also had Rocket Launcher as well. Which, now I think for them they would have a different sort of gun something new something original and for like i think our last character well truly would be rosalina herself because if rap because we know rabbit rosalina is in the game now we just need rosalina as a playable character now for her type of moveset in her design she has like a little stuffed toy with a little bit of a a, a polar like a now for Rosalina, she could use her wand in battle, wherever she when she uses her wand, she will shoot sorts of she will shoot like sorts of comets and asteroids from the sky, and they will crash on the enemies. That's how I picture it to be very funny and very interesting and creative to what I think it should be. And that's it. There's not much I have to say about this video, but it was just my personal opinion of particular. DLC characters I want to see in Mario Rabbits because I have played Kingdom Battle but having Sparks of Hope so and as for future discussions there will be the future Tekken 8 discussion of who's going to be in the roster in two different categories along with the Just Dance 2023 video since I still am wondering how these Ubisoft watch my video or something I don't know but the future of Funny Pop content will have a release month and that month being november as to reminder to the people who have seen my switch lately i now have a 256 micro sd card which is where i'm going to be saving all of my smash replays all of my photos all of some software and and some platinum points and gold points and all that the main reason here is I will be making a little bit of montages in the highest quality possible. However, those montages will probably have to take me a month to make them. So you better be excited for those montages. But if not, then you're then what's the point of you subscribing to the channel? Because you have to be subscribed in order to see the newest content on the channel. Because according to here, it says that 92.3 are still not subbed to the channel and only 7.7 .7 of you are. So if you're not subscribed at this point, you have to subscribe. This is not, I'm not taking it by force or anything. Share this video with your friends and f family members and then it will spread as a community. Because 
because this is the content that has diversity, okay? Uh, we're trying to spread diversity on the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So long, farewell, bye-bye.